Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'm here to do a different video. I don't usually do sit down videos talking to you guys about my experiences in life but I did kind of include you guys in my pregnancy so I wanted to update you guys of where I've been. I've put a little bit on Instagram but not details and a lot of you have been confused about what's going on. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about what's been happening with me. With that being said, some companies were kind enough to send my baby some items before I gave birth and I didn't have time so I'm just gonna be showing everything in this video I'm also gonna be doing a little haul for some baby stuff I have way too many gifts that I received and I'm so blessed and grateful I'm gonna do like an overview of things that I've received but I did want to share some specific items in case you guys were interested in some of these let's jump into the video so if you guys have been wondering where I have been so on March the 2nd I I went for a normal routine OB visit. It was my 34 week visit with my doctor. She wanted to check me and make sure everything was okay. I didn't talk about it, but back in November, they found out that I had high blood pressure. So, you know, they always have been watching me closely because high blood pressure usually means preeclampsia. I wanted to remain positive and believe that, you know, everything was gonna be okay and, you know, God is in control, whatever. So come March, I hit my 34 week appointment so I went in my blood pressure was through the roof that entire week I was like out of control my blood pressure wouldn't come down I don't know what was going on my doctor that day told me I needed to go to labor and delivery because they needed to watch me closely and basically just See if my blood pressure would come down because if it didn't obviously both my daughter and I were in high risk of something bad happening to the both of us so basically March 2nd I went into labor and delivery they were watching me closely and my blood pressure wouldn't come down so I just told my husband to get his clothes and we were gonna spend the night in the hospital basically I didn't expect anything to happen because I'm just a positive person I like to think positive and I didn't want to think of any bad outcome. They kept telling me that I might have a c-section, that my blood pressure wasn't coming down, that it wasn't a good sign and I just felt like that kind of just kept stressing me out. I was crying because I didn't want to give birth early etc. So the following morning my blood pressure went down in the morning. It was totally fine and then out of nowhere it started going back up again. Um, they tested my urine and it came back positive for preeclampsia so it was just an entire roller coaster there was two doctors one kept telling me you know I did have my choice of making and that I could say no but I was putting my life and my daughter's life at risk and then the other doctor came in and she told me that I basically had no choice and I had to go in for a c-section on the third so of course I was a ball I still get emotional. I was a ball of emotions. I didn't want to have her early. I wanted to carry her full term. They told me all the information and basically I just had to make the decision um, that was the best for her, for the both of us. So I had to go in for a C-section at 4 p.m. Of course I was terrified because it's an entire procedure they have to cut you open and take your baby out and um I was all over the place um and I already felt horrible because I wasn't gonna carry my baby full term I was only 34 weeks and no one can explain why preeclampsia happens I called my husband because he had went home to get more clothes or whatever I wasn't even prepared I didn't have a baby bag I didn't have my bag ready it was just I felt like I got robbed from everything I didn't do pregnancy pictures or anything like that um but then you know when they told me all the information obviously my daughter's life comes first before anything else I said yes and four o'clock came around they brought the anesthesiologist in and you know he numbed me and everything went smooth it was the scariest thing I have ever done because they lay you flat on this table with your arms open 
and you are obviously numb from the waist down you're not gonna feel anything but you know in your mind that you're getting opened my husband was there through everything everything went well thank god i heard the baby cry she was healthy five pounds one ounce i don't know it really affected me because they didn't even let me see her they basically just took her to the NICU right away. They cleaned her up and took her straight to the NICU. And obviously I had just gotten operated so I couldn't walk or anything like that. So I didn't see my baby until the following day. So it, it was just like a really scary, weird experience. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. The recuperation of a C-section is so real like my husband had to shower me my mom has had to do it all i don't know what i would do if i didn't have my husband and my mom i would probably be going crazy losing my mind because it would almost be impossible to do this by myself but i am happy to report the baby is finally home with me that was another roller coaster of emotions because i had to leave her in the hospital i got discharged on Thursday and I had to leave her and I didn't know how long she was gonna be there I know that some babies spend like an entire month in a NICU and that just gave me the worst Anxiety of my life. I don't leave my kids with anybody I've never left my son with anyone besides my mom my mother-in-law my husband like just people that I know and I feel comfortable with so just the fact that she was in a hospital by herself and not having that time with me like you know, the first week of her life was killing me. I would... I would cry almost every day. Um, I remember, like, calling and they told me that, you know, she had passed all of her tests. So I was so happy. I was, like, ready for her to come home. I had painted my nails, done my brows, everything. And I was, like, ready for her to come home. And I remember calling one morning and they told me, oh, she lost weight. And I felt so frustrated because I was, like, folding her clothes and getting ready for her to come home. And they told me she had lost weight. She couldn't come home. So I was just so frustrated. So I went to the NICU that day. And I spent hours with her. And then the following day. They called me and they told me that I could pick her up. It was like the best news of my life. I got her like a bouquet of pink hydrangeas. And <laughs> we were super happy. So I'm happy to report she is home. We are good. She's eating good we are loving her she is our princess and i'm just so glad this is all over um it's definitely very different caring for a premature baby than a full-term baby you have to like pay attention to what she's eating the ounces and everything else to make sure that they're gaining the weight that they need to gain all i care about is that she's here she's healthy and we are blessed beyond words I wanted to share my story with you guys. It wasn't very long, but I did want to come on here. I have been MIA because obviously, like, this whole thing has been a roller coaster. I'm probably going to be MIA for quite some time. I'm going to try to do a haul after this video, like, another week from today, like a home decor haul. But today, I just wanted to share, like, baby stuff. I also wanted to share some premature clothing items and where to find them because I feel like it's really hard to find preemie items. I don't know for some reason like the stores in store they don't carry preemie stuff do you guys hear her <laughs> her dad's feeding her so oh and I am pumping like a cow I got so much milk I'm so happy so she is breastfeeding I plan to do that as long as I can I breastfed my son for 13 months so I'm praying that we could do it even longer for her so i'm gonna start off with this company that sent me some beautiful items oh my goodness you guys like this is so perfect to give as a gift or this is just gorgeous so i received these beautiful items by this company named lee or and that's how you spell it this makes such a beautiful gift so this is a pacifier they usually do it with the baby's name or the initial my baby's initial is an M. So we decided to name her Miliana. Uh, I came up with that one day. I was like shopping with my husband and I just said, we were thinking of 
names before I was even pregnant I think and I ended up liking Miliana I don't know I just came up with it all the people in the hospital loved it that's the pacifier that they sent and then along with the pacifier they sent the pacifier clip look at how beautiful that is such a luxe item so like I said it's a little clip and it connects to the pacifier such a beautiful gift I will have this company linked down below their items are stunning they sent these beautiful shoes look at how stunning those are oh my goodness these obviously don't fit my baby because she's preemie I didn't know she was gonna be a preemie baby but she would definitely put those to use when they fit her another company that was really kind to send me an item for my daughter was this company by Luli Boo it's a bassinet to go so I actually had went to Target to get an image of the one that they actually have in store for you guys but when I went to my location for some reason they had it on clearance and they had taken it off the shelf I'm not sure why but I will be showing you guys this one they have a website but they're also available on Target which is cool because you guys can benefit from the discounts that Target has so they're so cute and send me a little card with a beautiful message and then in the back is their handles which I will link down below so they gave me a little information she basically what Lully Boo is is a on the go bassinet but it has so many benefits it's so cute and it's very easy to carry to be on the go let's say you're like an outdoor person you like to be in the park have picnics this is the perfect item to have for you and your baby so basically this on the go bassinet transforms into a backpack in one motion how awesome is that if your hands are full with your baby another child a third child you know it's easy to just throw this on on your back and carry it like a backpack it's super lightweight it's less than four pounds it includes removable activity bar toys canopy and two extra bassinet pads it's waterproof base machine washable cover outer storage pocket for baby essentials safety tested and certified and it's an award-winning design so when I saw this company I was super excited because I wanted to share it with you guys and show you how amazing this is to be on the go like for instance in the summer I love going to the beach so I could put my baby on this on-the-go bassinet and be okay with just letting her lay there take a nap I like to go to the park anywhere outdoors this item is so perfect and lastly blush pink maternity sent me some clothes I was going to do a pregnancy photo shoot to show you guys these items but unfortunately you guys heard my story that's what happened so I'm just gonna insert pictures of what these items look like their clothing is so well made it is high quality very beautiful perfect if you're pregnant they have such beautiful items and very comfortable for a big belly small belly any kind of belly <laughs> so they were so sweet and sent me three items they sent me this beautiful pink dress which is the one that I used to pick up my daughter in the hospital I was super excited and I wanted to dress up really cute for her and then they sent me this gray robe um, I will also insert a picture this is so comfortable so soft and bouncy I love it and I use this actually in the hospital to keep me warm they also sent me this nightgown which I love this is just a simple gray I actually wanted it I think they have it like in a beige color but they sent me this pretty gray thank you to blush pink maternity for sending me these items they were definitely put to use they're very comfortable the quality is amazing and I highly highly recommend them okay so moving on to the preemie items that I found for my daughter I wanted to share them with you guys in case you were interested in knowing where to find like preemie outfits if you're purchasing for a friend or if you just had a preemie baby um these are like awesome places to shop my best friend actually just sent me money to purchase these items for my daughter because um like i said i was not prepared to have a preemie baby so i didn't have no preemie clothing at all and when i went in store to some places they don't carry it at all like that size my best friend basically just told me listen here's some money you order your gift whatever you want so i basically just got her 
some outfits on walmart.com they have some really good options really cute and these are the ones that i chose so i basically picked this really cute little outfit which i'm probably gonna put on her right now because we're going to her first appointment it's like 80 degrees outside i'm still gonna wrap her don't worry <laughs> like we haven't gone out especially with this coronavirus i'm gonna be like inside the house like all the time with her but of course we need to make it to her appointment so this is really cute and they're really inexpensive too which is great to order from walmart because they have really good prices i also got this set of onesies i thought this was so adorable it came in the preemie size so i loved this color it's like a i don't know different kind of pink it's like a nude pink that's what it looks like it's so cute i love that bow and then this one came black with polka dots this really pretty floral this one with the stripes and this one that says little princess so cute and then the pants these are so cute because they're so tiny like oh my gosh look at how little so they match basically perfect with the top it goes perfect with the top so but look at how cute that is it's like the size of my hand oh my goodness so basically it just brings all the matching bottoms these were two different sets that i had to order it didn't come together again it was very inexpensive and to me it was worth it and then i basically just got two of these bottoms these are like footed bottoms and then these don't have nothing in the bottom just regular like little leggings and you guys already know i'm like dying to play dress up with her but right now i just gotta use what i have here for the preemie clothing until she gets a little bit chunkier you guys i got so many gifts for her she is so blessed like beyond words my mother-in-law sent me a box full of clothes i couldn't believe it i'm gonna insert a clip right here she sent literally like maybe like 50 outfits i couldn't believe it i'm like oh my god and then she sent like toys etc my aunts from puerto rico sent her some handmade outfits which i'm actually gonna show you one of them friends like this baby is so blessed and I'm so grateful. A lot of my friends sent her gifts and items that I needed and I'm truly humbled and very, very blessed. Another great place to find inexpensive preemie clothing is Burlington. I went to Burlington and they were probably the only ones that I saw like from the discounted stores that I shop at that carry preemie clothing. So definitely check out your Burlington. I just got like these basic white onesies to put under her clothing and this was only $3.99 you guys and it brings five so that's a really good deal usually these would be like eight dollars or something at Target Burlington also had this set which is just like the long sleeve shirt with the little you know hand mittens and the buttons and this was also at Burlington I believe it was $3.99 and the last place that I found preemie clothing is Target obviously they are a little bit more expensive but I mean if you need it you you need it. I got this really cute outfit. It's like one outfit. I think it was like $9.99. But it just says welcome home. Little onesie. It comes with the long sleeve shirt and then the bottoms. So tiny and cute. How cute is this gift bag that my aunt sent me? So adorable. With the little baby and the stork. And then this is just another outfit that I got from Target as well. It comes with the little booties and a onesie. That's what it looks like. Comes with a little hat and the little booties. Look how tiny that is. My mother was the one that found all those preemie outfits in Burlington. So she ended up seeing this and got it. It is so cute. I love florals. This is like a Betsy Johnson outfit. This isn't preemie. This is three months. She just ended up liking it. It was $9.99. And then like I said, my aunt got her an outfit made to leave the hospital. I ended up putting it on her even though she was like drowning in it. She was way too small for it. But I want to show you guys because this is like typical for our, our culture. This is what it looks like it is a beautiful handmade dress how gorgeous is that it's like a beautiful pink with 
this cream color detail I don't know if the camera is gonna do it any justice but I fell in love with this and then this is what the bottoms look like look at how adorable that is I can't wait till she fits in it to actually take her like really nice pictures and then here's like the little sandals okay and the last thing I wanted to show you guys is this really cute I don't know what these are called but it's like a little baby pillow I had gotten this even before I knew I was having a girl so <laughs> I bought this in Ross I thought it was so cute I've seen it in Burlington also and I think it was like $15.99 it's to basically just put the baby here to do like sitting time or whatever I don't know but I did want to share that with you guys because I have seen it at Burlington and Ross all right you guys I know this video was kind of like all over the place I wanted to get it up because the companies were kind enough to send me some items I wanted to share a little bit of my story with you guys and some of the items that I found for creamy babies I'm out of breath because I'm rushing I gotta be out of here because she has an appointment so I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye guys